hello and welcome to WPLMS tutorials in this tutorial we're going to learn how to set up WPLMS S3 plugin so after you have downloaded and installed the plugin and activated it through the LMS settings add-on section you will see a WPLMS S3 tab in your LMS settings section so once you go into the tab you will see various fields so first up you need to create you need to have a amazon s3 account if you don't have one you can simply create by clicking on this link so you can learn more about amazon s3 by simply googling it so it's it's just a simple storage service which is hosted on amazon servers and you can upload files on amazon servers the best part is that it, it has a free tire so once you have created an account you can simply log in to your account in the amazon s3 console so once you are inside the amazon console you will see you need to go to the security credentials section here you need to go to the access keys and create a new access key so you'll see a create new access key link simply click on this link and click on show access key you need to note the access key id and the secret access key copy them and go to the lms settings wplms s3 section and paste the access key id in the access key id field Similarly, paste the secret key into the Amazon S3 secret key field. So now you need to create buckets in your Amazon S3 account. So go to services S3 and click on create bucket. So now we come back to our settings. So here we have the access key ID and the secret key. Now we need to save the settings. So once you have saved the settings, if you now go to courses and edit any course and open the media bundle, you will see that we have a upload to Amazon S3 and Amazon S3 library link. If you simply click on the Amazon S3 library link, you will see all your buckets. For example, we created the WPLMS S3 demo. You can browse what all files are included in this list. Amazon S3 library is also available on the front end. So if you simply edit the course and inside the curriculum, if you are editing any unit, in the add media section you'll see that we have the amazon s3 and the upload to amazon s3 library link so now if you want to restrict all the uploads that happen on the wplms site to a particular bucket then you can set the bucket in the amazon s3 bu bucket se setting so once you do this you would no longer see the select a bucket section and no longer you will get the select bucket in the upload to amazon s3 tab in media model so once we have done that if we now open the media model we no longer get the select drop down Similarly, in Amazon S3 library, the bucket goes live in about 30 minutes. So what we are going to do is we are going to change the settings to an already existing bucket. Alright, so once we have done that, if we now access our Amazon S3 library, 
we can see we already have a lot of files so note that we have files which have prefix as one one slash and some files which have no prefix so one here is the user id when instructor privacy is enabled so now if we enable and save the settings if we now reload this tab you can see that we only get the files which have the user id prefix so for since i am logged in as administrator my user id is 1 so i'll see all the files which have one slash prefix so now if we check these files in our amazon s3 console so inside the relevant bucket you can see that we have a folder one which is the user id and all the files which have been uploaded by this user id so now to simply upload any file we need to go to the upload amazon s3 tab in the media pop-up and drag and drop the file in the block and click on upload s3 so once we upload it we get a successful message and we can set the expiry time for this file so this is the time for which this file will be available via, via the link so this is an image so if I say it is one minute it is available for one minute and I click on insert you can see I get the short code here and I can simply save this and if I preview this you can see I have this image now if I simply view source this image you can see that the URL generated is from Amazon S3 now if users copy this URL and open it in a new browser window so they can only access it, access the file till the time it is available so for example we have set the expiry time for this link as one minute so as soon as the one minute expires we would no longer be able to access this file so as you can see we are no longer able to access this file and we get the message access denied however if you reload the page the link will be generated again for one one minute so the images it, so the image will will be always available on this page so the same thing happens for videos and audios which we'll cover up in our next video
so here we can see this error so it is because the bucket has been created just now and the bucket goes live in about 30 minutes so what we are going to do is we are going to change the settings to an already existing bucket alright so once we have done that if we now access our Amazon S3 library we can see we already have a lot of files so note that we have one slash so next is we can enable instructor privacy so this privacy also applies to the administrator so if we enable this so right now you can see that we have files which have pre prefix as one i one slash and some files which have no prefix <coughs> and other files have no prefix so one here is the user id when instructor privacy is enabled so now if we enable and save the settings if we now reload this tab you can see that we only get the files which have the user id prefix so for since i am logged in as administrator my user id is one so i'll see all the files which have one slash prefix so now as you can see we have images mp4 files video files and mp3 audio files so what we are going to do is simply add all these files in a page and see how this works